Hello guys, here I am again for a new lesson. This time we will study Inherit the Earth from the Accused. But in this case we will study the the cover from Burn the Priest, okay? Uh, from band members are Lamb of God, as uh, I, I think all of you know. But we will study this version. Uh, it's a recent one, uh, very good production sound. And uh, let's see how how is the approach that those guys do on the guitars, and um, we will study riff by riff, and let's check it. Okay, I, I divide the song into different sections. I will play first the the riffs, and then I will explain it uh, with a tab down here or somewhere in the video. I still didn't define uh, where where I will put it. So hope you guys enjoy it, and let's study this this song together. Okay, so this first riff, the intro riff um, is repeated twice, although the end of, of it uh, has just a slight difference, you just have to wait for the new, the new riff to come in the song, and so uh, we will divide it by bars, okay? I will play uh, the four first bars and then uh, the remain four bars, okay? So, slowly it's like this. <laughs> Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, I I believe you guys can can figure it out by the by the tab, but um, just pay attention to the picking. I also I also put the 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 picking uh, how or how I pick playing this song and how I think is more convenient. Although there is some parts that you can approach on different ways, and I think everyone should uh, play the song as they feel more comfortable here. Uh, Usually I play it just uh, the way I believe the original song is played, in this case by Burn the Priest, okay? So just focus on the first uh, on the first section, okay? They do they do this this riff here where they do open power chords but with a palm mute between in the first fret, okay? This power chord palm mute on first palm mute on first fret and then this power chord. Okay? So like this. As you might uh, find out, uh, I do a, a, per a picking when I come here to this, to this power chord. Okay, so then the pinch harmonic part, okay? You do the same. And then you do this twice, the first fret palm muted, then once the second fret palm muted, and then you just play an open string but with a pinch harmonic here, okay? So... Okay? So it's pretty simple. Then you repeat again this part. And you end up like this. It's very easy, okay? It's just palm mute with an open string on the sixth string. And then you just do these power chords. It is a D power chord, a D flat power chord, and a C power chord, okay? Um, so like this. But, but, but with the fifth doubled on the octave, okay? So you have... This is a D power chord, but with the fifth, you just use your first finger and cover the upper string. So it's more heavy sound. So in between the chords, you play a palm mute. Okay, let's go for the next riff.
this second riff um, before uh, let me tell you the song is played on E standard okay the tuning is E standard I should I should refer this before so okay this second riff um, the tempo changes in the song okay I, I believe it goes around 200 BPM slowly is, is played like this <laughs> Okay, so you are here on the seventh fret, okay, on this E note. You play the first time with an open, okay, with, with it open sound, not palm muted, I mean, like this. And then you do six notes palm muted, okay. And then you just go up here and do this B C power chord, okay, twice. And uh, as you can hear, I I do the changes with slides. I believe is is played this way, okay. So together. This part, uh, this 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 riff, this section is played three times, and then you end up. Again, with that kind of uh, approach, with a muted, the the sixth string muted, and then the D power chord with the fifth, okay, below, the inversion on the fifth, like this. Okay, so together again. Okay, so uh, a tempo, uh, the effect is different, it is something like this. Okay, let's go to the next riff. Okay, okay. So this riff is kind of nice. It's, uh, it's a part that I really enjoy to play when 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 they came with this change in the song. Okay, and it's quite simple to play. You have uh, five power chords here. Okay, G sharp here, and a normal G, B, C, and C sharp. Okay, um, you just have some palm mutes here on the first G, G sharp is played three times I believe yeah and the fourth note is on G so so uh, you go to the B chord C chord and with a slide to the C sharp that you end up with this palm mute so I will play it slowly Okay, quite simple, a tempo. Just one more time, but slow. Okay. So, let's go to the next riff. Okay, this riff uh, has four different sections. Um, and... Uh, here it is, uh, how I play it slowly.
Okay, so let's look at it uh, part by part, okay, uh, section by section. So you do a slide from the D power chord to an F power chord here, okay. And then you come back to the D chord, you play it with the palm mute and then go to the F power chord and play it with your pick. So slowly it's like this, both parts together. Okay, and you end with the E power chord here, sliding it down, going to the E power chord played here, okay, one octave below. So together it's like this. Okay, then you repeat the same between these power chords here, but when you go to E, you just do the three first down strokes um, palm muted and then you just do uh, that uh, horsey rhythm I don't know how to express it in English okay uh, it's, it's not a triplet but I you will you will figure out what I'm explaining here <laughs> Okay, it's this one that seems like a, a horse. So together it's like this. So both parts together, they are played like this. Okay, after this, uh, it's pretty much the same, but you just play these power chords here with uh, adding the fifth on the octave below, okay? But then on the last E that you should, that you are supposed to slide down, you, you just don't play this E and you go here and play uh, major third chords, there are the G, F sharp and then you end up with a normal F power chord doing a bend. So this uh, whole section should be like this. Let's move on to the next riff. Okay, so uh, as you might have seen, I skipped uh, the solo. I will explain it in the end of this video, okay? So, uh, almost every riff is pretty much the same, okay, they are repeated um, until the the end of the song, okay, until you, you have a bridge, uh, if you can call it a bridge because this, this structure is a little bit uh, confusing, but um, behind behind the solo you have the, the first riff, the first riff when, when the tempo changes, okay, that one <laughs> Okay, this is played uh, behind together with the solo, and then you 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 have um, the verse part again, and then it comes again to this riff. Okay, the second, the third riff that I explained on this video. But here is different. Okay, in the second part, it's different. It's played like this. Okay, so there is a, a slide 
uh, in the end of this riff. So that's why I, I came with this riff again, okay? I came up with this, with this riff again. Okay, so now we have a um, kind of a bridge on this song, okay? Uh, it's quite simple, the riff is repeated twice, okay, four bars. Um, and it and it is played like this slowly. Okay, so you come again with uh, that rhythm figure. Okay, but uh, we just do some power chords between in here on F to E, F to C, F to E, and then again the D with a with an inversion on the fifth, and then the C sharp with inversion on the fifth. Okay, so it's like this slowly again the first the first part. Okay, then you go from F to C. Then you come again to the first part. And you end up like this with a palm mute on an with an open string and then twice for D and twice for C. Okay, up to speed a tempo is something like this. Okay, so this is repeated twice and uh, a tempo sounds like this. Okay, let's go to the next part. Okay, probably this is my favorite riff on this song. Okay, melodic, great rhythm, very simple. Let's go to it slowly. Okay, so you repeat the same figure three times with this rhythm here, all palm muted on this second fret on the fifth string. And then you do the melody, descending one from D to C sharp to B, and then uh, from B you go back to C sharp with an uh, with a hammer on, okay? Together like this. Okay, so you do this three times and then you end up like this. Yeah, so this here we, we are playing a, a A sharp or a B flat on his fifth. So something like this a tempo. Okay, let's let's go to the next riff. Okay, here uh, you have to appeal to your resistance, okay, and to your stamina here on your picking, okay. You are just playing a B chord, open B chord, and then uh, you play almost uh, the full, the two full bars with a alternate picking, okay, except for for the part you have uh, open power chord here. So it's, uh, what what I mean is this. Okay, if you count it uh, on four is. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, 
And then um, you have uh, an F chord here, an F chord here, like this. Okay, and you end up with this. Okay, okay it's a pinch harmonic that you hear off of the string, off of the pinch harmonic sound. Okay, so together, all together, it's like this, at slow tempo. So you are playing a uh, open uh, string here, not open string, I mean it's not palm muted on the second fret of your fifth string. And I do it with my second finger, with my middle finger, because then uh, we have to go down here on the melody from G to F sharp to F. So the B note here is open. And then the third, second fret, G to F are palm mute. And then you have the pinch harmonic here on F. Okay, so a, a tempo. Okay, let's move on to the end of the song. Okay, so we don't have the pinch harmonic here, okay? So the first section you just do like the intro, but instead of going to the pinch harmonic, you just um, at the end of that bar, of the second bar, at the middle of the second bar, I mean, you just stop on F sharp. So. Okay, and we end up like this. So the third bar of this last part uh, is the same as the first bar. But you end up with an open uh, power chord on F sharp. And then you palm mute twice F, palm mute once E, and then end up with an open uh, F sharp power chord, sliding it down. So like this. Okay, this is the way I believe the song uh, is played. Uh, I've seen some different versions, uh, so different people, different approaches, as I always say. So the whole riff to end up this lesson. Okay, so let's finish this lesson with a solo. Okay, so the solo is pretty fast but it's not that complex as you might think it is because it's played mainly with legato, okay? So let's go note by note. First you start with a bend here on the 15th uh, fret of your B string with a vibrato and then you go 15th fret of your B string to 12th fret of your E string so like this And then you do uh, for legat for for legatos, okay? All all are all pull offs, fifteenth to twelfth twice, fourteenth to twelfth twice again, okay? Uh, all on E string. So to all together like this.
And then you go again, 15th uh, fret of your B string to 12th fret of your E string. Slowly, like this. And then you just do two uh, legatos, okay, or pull-offs from 15th to 14th, 14th to 12th on B string twice. Okay, you can play it with your th second and third finger or your fourth or your third and fourth finger, okay, so it's up to you. So uh, until here we are playing like this. And then again, you just do that 15th fret to 12th fret, but this time Mars is 15th fret uh, of your G string and 12th fret of your B string. And then again, you come up with two legatos, but this time you just do 15th, 14th, 14th, 12th on your G string once, and then again, and still on G string, you will play uh, 14th to 12th and 11th. So like this, okay, and you will do the slide. So let's play it slowly uh, until this part. Okay, so as you might uh, have seen, I do a slide when I when I come here to the 11th fret of, of G string. I do a, a, a slide downwards, and then I come back and do a end the solo with a bend on G string 14th fret. Okay, it's a one tone bend. Okay, so all together again slowly. Okay, so to end up this lesson, just let let me just play the tempo. Okay, hope you enjoyed this lesson, um, and see you again on the next one.